this is the third year of uh, a cycle of exhibitions that usually ranges between um, four and six per academic year. And they're all, I've sort of striven to make it a really um, variegated sort of in media, in um, sort of purpose, in types of artists and students involved. Um, so this is really a, a great sort of culmination of that work thus far, I think. It, it's a project that spans a lot of different aspects of production. So um, obviously there's the uh, visual ex exhibition that you see on the walls, and then there's this event, which will include um, four students and Christian. Um, and then there was a uh, side project that we often do some sort of um, corresponding press project, uh, some sort of ephemera or small booklet to accompany um, the bigger exhibitions, and this time we did a chapbook um, of Christian's collection of poems that are sort of um, rewritings and permutations of Rambo's poem on the vowels. Uh, so the collection is called Eye of Yellow. I kept messing that up and thankfully <laughs> went with the right one when it came time to lay the type. <laughs> but um, Of Yellow, and it's out there um, on the book table, we also have Unoya, which is um, his work that's conveniently also uh, a vowel conjugation out there on the table for sale for $11. And the chat books are actually free. Um, I'll ask that you only take one. We don't have an unlimited supply. Um, that'd be great. So um, the show, the title is Umlaut Machine, as you might have seen. Um, and I'm just, I'm so thankful in so many ways um, for the support uh, to carry off such a, another behemoth endeavor, um, especially James Lamar for his press handiwork and gusto. Um, I couldn't have done, we made some really special posters for this event along with the chaps and it was hours and hours upon labor, uh, hours and upon hours of labor at the press. Um, and I had a number of volunteers also assisting with that, from everything from that to chopping up shallots in the kitchen now. Um, so I especially want to thank Henry Steinberg, Nick Keyes, Pimmer P. P Thung Kasim Vathana. I've been really, <laughs> I've been saying that all day. All right. Sarah Richter, Marsha Lowe, Julia Nelson, and Lily Applebaum. Um, and of course, the Kelly Writers House staff for supporting me now as ever and making this show possible. Um, when I was shrieking about an extra long reach 5 8 diameter die cutter to punch umlauts with, you humored me. Um, when there were travel hitches, you resolved them on the double. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Al, Aaron, Michelle, Jessica, and everyone else um, for all that you do. Um, so now I just want to give you a brief itinerary of the event uh, and then leave it sort of unencumbered by multiple introductions. Um, this is round two of a special Snelson LaRange double feature, um, <laughs> which was sort of a, a glorious accident. Uh, both of them were here last night to engage with the first manifestation of Danny Snelson's new series, Edit, um, which I really urge you to watch when the video is uploaded um, to our media server. If you weren't able to make it last night, it was really incredible. Um, it should be up in about a week and linked to our web calendar. Um, so first, Christian is going to perform, and then we'll try to neatly segue into a conversation about the performance and his work at large vis-a-vis -vis the pieces in this exhibition. Um, and then afterwards, I hope that you'll join us for a reception in the dining room, sign up for the KWH Art Listserv, which will be probably on one of those tables near the books in the living room, um, and pick up a chat book, pick up a copy of Unoya, um, and enjoy those, please. Um, so first, I'll introduce the members of the panel that's um, going to have a conversation after the reading, um, the this pa this student panel, which I will mediate. Um, Astrid Lorange is a second year PhD candidate at the University of Technology, Sydney, in Australia, where she also teaches. Uh, this semester, she is a visiting scholar at Penn in the English department. She is re researching Gertrude Stein, early 20th century philosophical sciences and contemporary poetics. Danny Snelson is a writer, editor, and archivist, as well as a first-year PhD candidate in the Penn English Department. His online editorial work can be found on UbuWeb, Penn Sound, and Eclipse. He's the founder of Aphasic Letters with Phoebe Springstub and No Input Books with James Hoff. His current interests are centered in textual conditions, editorial strategies, and media technologies. Henry Steinberg is a freshman in the college, 
of Arts and Sciences and currently lost in Ulysses. He plans to major <laughs> in English creative writing, um, which is special to me because I, I was definitely there a couple of years ago, um, and I, I'm a senior also majoring in English creative writing. Um, so this is a special event in a, in a lot of ways. I, I was trying to think today when uh, Christian Book's work first sort of came into my, um, my vi field of vision. And I actually don't remember a, like a precise encounter, um, but he, that sort of school of um, conceptual writing and especially language-driven visual art has been really at the forefront of my interests. Um, for the past three years, at least since I've been running this gallery. Um, so I've always been an intense admirer of his work and the opportunity to bring him here and do the show is really great, especially for the opportunity to um, integrate both the language side, the sort of strictly language side of his work, um, and then these pieces that sort of uh, are on the brink of, of the visual arts world um, as well. And I, that's, if you've been to other shows here, actually, most of the exhibitions that I've planned have sort of played with that um, interstitial space. We've had press work, um, but also more complicated interactions of text and visual pieces. Um, and I think that that type of work really lends itself very well to the writer's house and uh, all the other energies here. So this is doubly appropriate. Um, Christian Book is the author of Crystallography, which was published in 1994 by Coach House Press, a pataphysical encyclopedia nominated for the Gerald, Lam Ger Gerald Lampert Memorial Award, and Unoya, also Coach House 2001, a best-selling work of experimental literature and winner of the Griffin Prize for Poetic Excellence. Book has created an artificial, artificial languages for two television shows, Gene Roddenberry's Earth, Final Conflict, and Peter, Peter Blenchley's Amazon. Uh, Book has also earned many accolades for his virtuoso performances of sound poetry, particularly the Earth Sonata by Kurt Schwitters. His conceptual works, which include books built out of Rubik's Cubes and Lego bricks, have appeared at the Marianne Bosky Gallery in New York City as part of the exhibit Pro Poetry Plastique. Book is currently a professor of English at the University of Calgary. So with that, um, we'll welcome Christian up here, and thanks, everyone. <laughs>